Hello and welcome to another Shadowverse Wolf unboxing today with volume 8 and yeah this is currently the last set I have bought from Shadowverse Wolf. even like my last boxes were so nice to me and in a live stream I pulled UR I did pull one leader card from one box in box number five and then I pulled a leader card from set number four and a leader card from set number seven. So yeah, recently my my luck with the Shadowverse is very crazy, but I still like really have to find a, a middle ground with the TCGs I buy because it's just like not sustainable for me to do YouTube the way I do currently. Like I I I spend so much on boxes and YouTube is not like really. Uh, paying anything back with like advertising so yeah I had to make some cuts so I, I haven't bought set number 9 and 10 I at the moment I cannot say if I will ever uh, continue to buy Shadowverse it depends like I I need to to spend my money a little bit more yeah as I said sustainable have to focus on on a few TCGs and cannot spread myself so uh, thin, I think. So, yeah, but this set has some some very nice cards in it. There, there is especially like a, I think it's an LG also, but there's also a UR version of her uh, from Neftis, and Neftis is a ancient Egyptian goddess. She's the sister of Isis and Os Osiris. Is the goddess of death and yeah maybe if you know my channel and me okay I I have a collection of TCG cards with ancient Egyptian inspired art and characters so yeah I really want this card but we've started with the guaranteed SL so let's see what's her name Oh, she's the wolf version. Oh, she's like one of the one of the lowest SL cards you can get. Unfortunately. Yeah, first first hit of the box as as far as I remember. Oh, that's cool. As far as I remember, there is a guaranteed SL per box. Oh, I totally forgot this one. This is another Egyptian inspired artwork. Oh, that's cool. You can see like these pillars with these should be like lotus, lotus flowers. They are often used in Egyptian art. And we also see like the, the eye, which looks a little bit like the eye of uh, Toros. Oh, that's a cool card. I totally forgot her. I, I think I've seen this artwork on on another YouTuber's unboxing, but I totally forgot it. I just had uh, Neftis in my mind. That's cool. So, but yeah, now that I remember, I think there is a there's a second one, maybe the evolved version of her. Gr. And yeah, in set number nine, there is actually another Egyptian, like a very pharaoh looking character. Uh, yeah, maybe I will just pick up the, the single card or... Okay, she looks cool. Like a dragon, dragon waifu. Nice. But yeah, not sure. Maybe I, I will wait just a little bit more for the English releases, but the English releases are so much more expensive than the Japanese boxes. And sometimes you can get very lucky. Like I, I bought my set four boxes, uh, very cheap on a sale for like twenty, twenty dollars I think, plus shipping of course. But sometimes they they have sales, and yeah, you get them super cheap but of course you cannot play with them there's like a lot the same is like with union arena this awkward situation that you you have a japanese release and uh, 
you have an English release, so or like there is an English release coming, and I'm thinking like if I want to still spend more money on the Japanese releases, and at the same time I have to save money up for the English releases, and now that's really that's the reason why I stopped buying V Cross Japanese too because I I cannot like buy everything. And I will 100% like buy the English releases of V-Cross, so I cannot like play with the Japanese cards. So yeah, I, I have to make some, some cuts there and then to still be able to upload videos. Like I, w I will never stop buying TCG cards anymore in my life, I think. Just that I have to uh, distribute my my money between less TCGs, I guess. So yeah, we got one LG, one SL. Shouldn't there be like three more LG? Or maybe they have changed the ratio again. Some sweet artworks. Okay, we got a GR. Like a dragon. Oh, another GR. She pretty. And sometimes, like, in this fantasy art style of Shadowverse Evolve, like, the accessory and the armory is, for my taste, sometimes a little bit too sharp. I don't know how to explain it. It's like the art style, which makes it, like, very sharp edges. Not always, like, my, my favorite art style. Very typical, like fantasy art style, and another LG. So, can we get like a, at least the LG version of Neftis? Oh, that's not her, but it's a cool reheaded dragon. So, one last LG. <laughs> Big. Big bad beer. And another GR. And, okay, double GR pack. And last pack for this unboxing. So I got a second box, maybe for a live stream, or maybe I will I will open like multiple packs from different TCGs in one video. I haven't decided yet, but Ah, this is not Neftis, but this is another character design. It looks a little bit inspired, or maybe like Persian. Not really Egyptian, but I really like this artwork a lot. Beautiful. But yeah, I think there are like two cards missing for me, like her evolved version probably, and the, the Neftis card, of course. And let's end with a force of will, looking for the secret rare Anubis. We have Osiris. Yeah, but just an island. But yeah, Osiris is cool too. As I said, brother of uh, Isis and Neftis. So yeah, thank you for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.